Were you both big Beatrix Potter fans growing up? I had a compilation of Beatrix Potter. I actually was, when I just have this memory as a child. Obviously, I love Peter Rabbit. I loved Jemima Puddle Duck. She I loved Jemima my, Puddle She Duck was, too. I think, maybe my other fave. And Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. They were two too. of my faves, yeah. yeah. Why? Maybe because they were so mothering. Mm. Sweet. Just so sweet, yeah. yeah. Um, could you talk a little bit about your characters, actually? Well, Mopsy's the eldest of the triplets. Um, they're six seconds apart, but it's very important to her that that's that she stakes a lot of her identity on that. Um, and she's sassy and she's bossy, and but I think she's very sweet and well intentioned and and um, mothering. Mm. Second time I've used that word in mm. one interview. Mm. Have never and maybe it's used about that. To be mothering Sunday. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. Topical. Um, Cottontail is um, a little bit all over the place. Mm. She and I think it's sweet too. She's really trying to be her own person while idolizing Peter. She wants to cause as much havoc as him and be as adventurous as him. Um, I, but I think they all just really love each other, and that's beautiful. Did you guys read for any of the others of the Rabbit Sisters, or did you always were you always kind of locked in for the ones that you ended up? Oh no, we were always locked in. Mm. I think. Because right? they sort of are us. We're actually typecast into the rabbit. Yeah, because Will literally wrote the parts specifically, not for us, but when I think he knew people were, in, were wanted to be involved, he tailored the parts to us. So they feel very much like us. Did you guys get to do any recording together? We, we did. did. The only two. <laughs> we're super excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were the only two. Mm. Our two and something very first sessions which was nerve-wracking and great because you sort of break the ice together. Mm. And then we were thrust to, to dark rooms alone mm. to finish up. Dark padded rooms. <laughs> yeah. Um, obviously, you both have some interesting projects coming up. Um, Elizabeth, there's a sequel to The Night Manager. How's that coming along? Oh, is there? I thought there was. I'm sworn to secrecy. Oh, is there another one? I, I can't. Just, <laughs> you can't win that game, can you? You can't. You're damned if you do and damned if you don't. Isn't it a John le Carré novel? It was based on the one novel, so I'm, yeah. Oh, they've gone off. Did you do that Marvel thing where you asked me a question and then if I answer it, it's affirming something? I feel like I, that's how Marvel might get you all the time. I'm bad at my job and didn't research it properly. Like, it's one of the two. I think, <laughs> it's in, it's, I think it might be in the works, yeah. yeah. I didn't know that was coming. I'm excited. And obviously you're going to be in the in episode nine. Have you heard anything about that? Is yet? there a sequel? Apparently so. Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, I've heard nothing about it. I hopefully will soon. It's interesting because after the first one came out, we literally went straight into the next one, so mm. there was no time to think about it. And now I'm like, huh? I wonder what I'm going to be doing for six months. 